Uh, I mean, with this, how important is this clinks in terms of creating pressure on the map? And at what point does Thompson start doing exactly that? I think it's the way Tundra win this game. I think they fully rely on it. As a matter of fact, as Craig will find the first wow. one onto a pure, very, very quiet start. Yeah, for sure. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. a little bit of XP is going to run into Amar. And Crit's going to set this up with a Shackler shot. And you have to think eventually this will be a kill going the way of Falcons. The slow now coming out from Amar. Now the mana is depleted. And Spidey senses were tingling and the pig pull came out. Nine class though. Finds Crit in the jungle. Thompson. Okay, he's going to be spotted. He's going to actually be Shackler shot. But... He gets the death packed off. Nice amount of HP there. Mar blinks in. No mana at all onto Thompson. As the mana void comes out, it's just level one. Oh, a decent dynamic. Hammer. That beautiful hammer coming in from Skeeter will lead to Thompson's death. Lightmon with the right click briefcase kills off Amar in tow. And now can get the Echo Stomp in retreat. Nine class attempting the TP. I guess he can't really jump <laughs> very effectively without the battle fury. Skeeter, God Strength activated. Echo Stomp will hold him in place. Have to think the tier one will end up going down. Right, Nine class not able to right, get the bushwhack right, yeah, there to go for the more, eventual deny. Now, You're getting forced out of his own triangle and now taking some aggression will have to use a stone gaze using a lot of the mana in the process. Mana void not quite enough to get the kill. Amar wants to finish this kill but the echo stomp holds him in place and now the boat is coming for him. Do they have the damage to actually finish the job? No, instead Pure goes down to Malreen who backstabs again. The pump shooter hits him right in the ass. He's getting pretty low himself. Echo Stomp holds him in place. Amar in the tree still. Maureen will be the trade. A one for one. Ward. A decent amount of vision. Not on the high ground though. Oh. Did they? Oh, they didn't see him actually. No. They're trying to. They're trying Stand to get their hands well. on this. But Pure Wisdom. is going to show himself on oh, the wave no. now. Oh. Little does he know. Right above. Oh, he actually pops the stone gaze. He's going to get shackle shot, but that actually. Forces Falcons away. Spidey senses again. Good instincts overall. Malrain gonna pop that Shiva. He's gonna back into the Earth Splitter and the boat. And down goes the Doom. As Pure getting really low on mana because of the Mario. Oh, oh huge battle, boys! Oh my god! Thompson is dead as a result as well. And Snake King and company are cleaning up pretty nicely. Fourth kill to their name. Triple for Skeeter. That mana void was filthy. Surprised to see how much damage crit and uh, Skeeter were able to do to the Dusa. Oh, White Mon showing himself. Thompson, though, gonna set this up with that bushwhack. Mallory has to use his BKB, trying to retreat now. Doesn't use his Doom in the end as Thompson looks like he might get a kill here, but meanwhile, Toby taken out by the crit on the other side of the map. Instead, it'll be the usage of the Aegis. We'll see if Tundra want to stick around and fight or not. Falcons. Great the Echo Stomp. Snake King, though, did not get hit. And there is the Doom onto Thompson. Yes. And now that leads to an easy one as Whitemon destroyed. And that just I leaves Pure on the Medusa alive for Tundra. We get that first, but looks like Blink will be next on the mini firm anyway. I think it's Marnival. Got it. Atos. Yeah, should be that, fine. That Manta right there. Immediate usage. It's going to be forced out by Thompson now. Looking for the high five. No one wants a piece of it, though. The thing about the Doom taking the Centaur creep, wait a sec. Yeah, yeah okay, Peter, never mind. He wants to fight. He's gonna get Hurricane Pike by Thompson, but the Gale Force is there. White Mon dead. This BKP is down, though. Let's see if Tundra can try to capitalize on this. Very um, tight. Bear, Thompson trying to play. cut off the other side. The focus is on to Skeeter. He's gonna get a Stone Hammer off first into the Focus Fire. Get put up to the low ground. The Gale Force is helping out. Thompson's just stuck here. Looks like he might be able to trickle away. Yes, he finds the move speed, and Skeeter gets a Courier in the midst of all this. As the Doom comes out onto the Kunkka, the Torrent was cast first, though. Malreen will die as Mar looking for more. Skeeter can't get the clinks in the end as Whitemon will die to Snake King's impetus. Nine class and company trying to retreat, oh but that damage God. from Skeeter is overwhelming. Stormhammer to follow. Toby's dead as well. Three down for Tundra. Started out as a good potential fight for Tundra, but... Alreen and Amar here. looking to potentially retreat. Pathway is blocked off by Thompson. Atos now. Damage done to Malreen, but here comes Skeeter trying to focus on the clinch, but can't get into arm's length. 
Now the Stone Gaze comes off. You can see the Albert used now onto the Medusa. Can't do much, but Wise yeah. destroys Amar with the Earth Splitter, and now Tundra with the advantage in a five versus four. Snake King, they're kind of ignoring him. He's here, trying to come in for a last backstab here. He only gets White Mon and dies to pure. And now Snake King attempting the TP behind the trees. But that's not going to be as Tundra with a three for one. Yeah, no, I think he saw, he might have seen a glimpse of someone on that ward, actually. Above him. The hot strength activated. Pure already out of mana. Oh my god. He's deleted. And now the Gale Force again used onto both supports. Mana Void to cancel the TP of White Mon. Have a camera into the right clicks. Nine class will be the third casualty for Tundra. <laughs> Medusa does not look tanky at all when AM is able to right click there. Yep. Does hit. Bushwhack to fall. Look at the damage onto the tier 3 tower from afar. But Skeeter wants to fight. God strength already used. Pure with the stone gaze. Look for Skeeter and company back. The Torn Storm keeping more at back actually. Skeeter getting really low. He oh! oh! Mana Boy deletes Pure and White Mon from the face of the earth. And now Tox and the company probably will have to try and fight this out. But Toby already out of mana as Skeeter continues to just feed upon him now with the help of the Shackle Shot. Topson destroyed on the back line as well. Four dead. They don't even lose Aegis in this encounter. About a minute away for that. Gonna have smoke break. Wymon gets some vision next to the Astro Spirit. Okay, he's gonna get doomed right off the bat. And there is Superman time for Skeeter. Deleting Wymon off the face of the earth. He takes considerable damage though, but now four staff to safety. You're already using the Stone Gaze. Now Mount Rain really deep in, gets the second Doom this time, it is on the Kunkka! He gets Scale Force into the right clicks as well as Mount Rain just melting, but Pure basically out of mana. Now Mana Void comes in again from Amar, Pure is dead, Thompson attempting the TP, just barely. Back to Fountain he goes. Looks like they will be able to get the Roche. Echo Stomp, able to really fully connect, and there's the Aegis for Pure. A lot of goodies on there. There's an Aghanim Scepter as well. We'll have to see who takes that maybe after this fight, if there even is an after this fight. Oh, oh, fire. Nice oh, the, the Divine Rapier on the deck! He buys back! We'll see who picks it up, though. As Stone Gaze used from Pure, a lot of havoc, though. Coming out from this Taurus Storm. Crit takes the tumble. White Mon on the retreat. Making, oh, Malrin actually missing the hooks on Thompson, coming back without the Divine Raper, still doing a considerable amount of damage. The Mana Boy comes in, Toby is dead on the sideline. Amar pops his refresher, is silenced for the time being. Wymont finally gets off his Earth Splitter. Not doing much with it, though. We'll pop the cheese, it looks like, to get to full HP and pure. Remember, has that Aegis in tow. Stormhammer is there from the Sven. Down goes the Aegis. Mana Void again! This time, almost white on with a sliver of HP. One right click will finish him off. Now, pure basically in a one versus five. He's doomed up. He's destroyed. That should be it. As Go Home is exclaimed from Amar. And Falcons will be going to the grand finals here at ESL. One farming up. Damn, they just stood absolutely no chance in that fight. I know they're far behind on the network, but they had the ages in their hands and still couldn't, just couldn't stand a chance. Amar with the flank play first.